fire is an important part of Oklahoma's natural landscape, but its role is more complex than previously thought. SUNUP's Austin Moore takes us to Osage County to explain. The Tallgrass Prairie Preserve that the Nature Conservancy manages is a wonderful outdoor laboratory. There's questions we can ask here that we can't ask anywhere else in Oklahoma. They try to mimic what, what we think happened in Tallgrass Prairie, sort of pre-settlement or pre-sort of urbanization and agriculture, and that's that fire and grazing are allowed to interact. So they randomly burn areas, and after they burn them, as you can see, grazers are drawn to that burn area. It's got lush regrowth, it's got high protein, and as one of my colleagues put it, it's kind of like comparing a salad to a two by four. So they're gonna select this lush regrowth as opposed to areas that haven't been burned in a couple years. These shorter sections of prairie grass have another use as well. This is where greater prairie chickens come to mate. Prairie chickens are a good indicator of the overall health so to speak, of the, of the prairie. Since they need all the different time since fires or all the different plant structures, if you've got them on the landscape, it's a good indication that all the other wildlife species are gonna have um, the right habitat components as well. So they're kind of a good canary in the coal mine, so to speak, for uh, other wildlife species. That's why this team of scientists from Oklahoma State University yeah. comes to the like tall grass that. prairie yeah. preserve. Over the first three years of this study, they looked into nesting ecology. But now in their fourth year... Basically what we do is capture these birds in the spring when they're on the lek, which is where the males congregate to breed. And we fit them with transmitters that allows us to see where the birds go, what kinds of uh, plant communities they use, what their home range, and what their survival is. So what we're interested in is is being able to provide uh, livestock producers and land managers with some guidance on things that they can do that not only benefit livestock production but also will keep prairie grouse, prairie chickens and other wildlife species on the landscape. While the birds prefer shorter, more recently burned grasses for booming, they need the taller unburned grasses like this for nesting cover. Birds typically lack in areas that have been recently disturbed, so areas that don't have a lot of vegetation, um, presumably so they can see predators as they approach lek sites, but then birds also need other parts of the landscape that are unburned. So the majority of the nests that I've monitored have been er in areas that haven't been burned in greater than two years. So areas with taller vegetation, more litter accumulations, presumably so they can seal the nest from predators, but also through my research we found that those areas tend to be cooler. Uh, and then on top of that, they also have a, a life cycle where they have their chicks when they're brooding and they seem to take birds out in areas that have been burned, uh, you know, about a year ago, maybe up to two years ago that have more forbs, kind of a, a canopy. If you think of it like a forest, you know, it has kind of a canopy of forbs, but it has less litter so they're able to move their brood through there and forage on insects. So they really require varying times post fire and grazing for all of the life cycles or all of their life history traits throughout their life cycle. The other thing we've seen is they avoid tree cover. So having fire on the landscape is critical to keep prairies open and woody covered out. But having some areas unburned in a given year are really important for nesting. So it just really points to the fact that everything shouldn't look the same. We need burned areas, we need some unburned areas. That knowledge should give Oklahoma's greater prairie chickens something to boom about.